Hi everybody, this is Dario. Welcome back to my channel, Motley Reads. Uh, this is a TBR for a booktube event that is called Maybe Midrash. Maybe Midrash is, is given a uh, second time uh, this year. Uh, I participated last year uh, as well. It was my first booktube event ever. Uh, so this uh, event is hosted by uh, Jason, Felicia, Steve and Rick and uh, I will be leaving the links to their introduction videos down below. What is it all about? Uh, it is about uh, Midrash, which is uh, uh, analysis of, uh, of, uh, uh, of religious uh, texts or, or, te or, or texts that are, that are treating um, uh, the subject of religion, uh, so so I understood it, and the and the challenge in the, in the in the event is to read two books, one fiction, one non-fiction that is dealing in a, some serious way with the, with the, with the topic of religion. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to read. It is uh, I'm planning to read more than two books. Uh, I will be reading reading uh, one a fiction book. And that fiction book is uh, Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. And uh, uh, I didn't really know what book to take. I had several different options, but then I saw uh, uh, my buddy Jack of Ramley, Recontour, uh, he was reading this and, and, and I remembered, yes, I have it actually in my, my shelf. And I was be meaning to read it for a lo long time. Uh, so now I finally have opportunity to, to, to pick this up. And I understand that this is the first part of a trilogy. Uh, that is that is uh, written by Mary Robertson. This is the first book. Then it, uh, sec uh, the other two books are Home and Lila, if I remember right. So th this is going to be very very interesting. I'm very excited about this one. This is winner of the Pulitzer Prize for fiction. So my uh, fiction read. Then for non-fiction read, I have a following setup. Uh, this is actually a buddy read that I'm doing uh, with uh, together with Noah uh, over at uh, Everybody Who Reads It Must Converse. And uh, we are going to read a discourse of free will uh, by uh, between Erasmus of Rotterdam and Martin Luther. So these two guys, they were contemporaries in, in the 16th century Europe. Uh, Martin Luther doesn't need uh, a lot of introduction, you know, the, the, the really the father of Protestant, Protestantism. Uh, and they are calling some people, a guy that, that, that split up a Catholic Church. Uh, and uh, Erasmus, Desiderius Erasmus, who was uh, his contemporary and he was one of the uh, of the greatest scholars of the time, and and arguably greatest uh, one of the greatest scholars of all times. Um, uh, so uh, the they had the, this heated discussion about uh, about the different perspectives on the free will, of the nature of free will. And uh, it is documented in these in these two volumes uh, by by both of do, these two guys. This one is a uh, the copy I have here is in Swedish. In Swedish is Om den fria viljan, and then this one is in English, the bondage of will or on the enslaved will, as it's also called. So um, Noah and I are going to read this. And we have agreed also that we will do uh, our videos together. So we're going to do a video uh, sometime in mid of May on uh, Erasmus. And then we are going to do a video at the end of the May where we are going to cover uh, Luther, uh, uh, Luther and, uh, and do, do a comparison uh, between uh, the two of those. Uh, so, so this is also going to be very, very exciting. And then the last thing that I'm planning to read as a part of this readathon is, is also a body read that actually was decided on today, um, is uh, this one. Uh, Science and Faith. It is actually a graphic novel uh, and it is, uh, it is uh, uh, written by uh, our own uh, Tom L.A. Books, uh, Tommaso Todesca. Uh, so, so he actually uh, wrote this and, and uh, this was picked up by Noah uh, again and by Christy Lewis. 
uh, and uh, you know the two of them together with Tom decided actually to 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 read this and to to discuss this, and they invited me to participate in this in this group read um, that is happening now during May as well. So so I'm going to participate in this as well. This is going to be also part of my maybe midrash activities. So. Uh, I'm doing uh, uh, quite a lot of interesting readings uh, this month and I'm looking very much forward to that. I uh, really hope that, that the many of you are going to, to participate uh, in, this, uh, in this great uh, event. Uh, I think that we need you know, more of these types of events uh, uh, where we are reflecting uh, about our being. Uh, it, it, you know, it is good good for you to reflect on your being uh, so yeah take care